Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 51 Quarterfinals. We've got Varvar and his Chaos versus Dionysian and his Dwarves. In the booth with me is Purple Chest. Hello! Hello, what a game we're looking forward to here today, Jim. Blimey. We have the uh, the extremely experienced known quantity of Dionysian with his beloved Dwarves. Um, one of the best known Dwarf coaches around. Uh, and the almost unknown, I would suggest, quality of Varvar. I haven't seen a lot of his play before in this cup. I haven't seen a lot in this cup, but he's brought a very nicely built Chaos team with a lot of kill potential, but also a lot of solidity. And it's going to be a pretty tough ask for these Dwarves unless they get into them early. Mm, it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, they're not that killy, right? They've got two Claw Mighties, but yeah. they haven't got any piling on, so they're going to no. have to high roll like making an instant Kaz on the first block. Uh. <laughs> that would certainly be useful for them. Yep. And a Dio doesn't app all that. Dio's only inducement looks to be Boomer. Um, he does like Boomer, doesn't he? So, he does. And, uh, yeah. I mean, Claw Mighty can get it done, but the stats don't lie, Jim. We all know it. That Claw Pom is is the absolute kill stack. It raises your removal rates to near fifty percent on every hit. It's it's just lethal. And against dwarves who don't have the agility or the pace to get away from you. Uh, who rely on getting up in your face with their guard and their stand firm. It, it, even without the might they're piling on, you've got to worry that these claws get the job done. Yep. Uh, but certainly it's less worrying than, you know, four claw pommers against you might be. Exactly, yeah. You know, and like, even one claw pom, like, you know, mm. if he blitzes about, what, 13 times in a game, that's a, that's a lot of claw pom hits. Mm -hmm. and, and the piling on is what makes the difference. But, uh, you know, yeah, of course, claw, claw might you can easily roll just as well. Now here, I was talking pre-game about the solidity of these four Chaos Warriors, all starting with block and then following into guard. Then they take Mighty Blow and then they add Claw on as a fourth, it seems, under this guy's plan. Um, I mean, I like that a lot. I find it's a really solid base to build on, build on, but it does cost you a bit of your kill potential. There's no denying it. Yeah, yeah. For this match, I'd definitely rather have a, uh, a Mr. Page-style team. Yes. Oh, but, wow, uh, what a bomb! Wow, three, what a bomb! No armor breaks, but all three down. That's really um, halting the momentum of this. Uh, this what is a chaos drive? Remember, but now look how many they're starting with on the floor. Mm. Stand firm also doing its job there. Mm. Oh, is he going to foul? Is he going to foul this pommer? I think he might be trying to remove it. I, I can't see. Has he got any kind of bench, Jim? Are they, uh, um, the dwarves presumably do because they hired a star. One bench, two bench for the dwarves. Nowhere, no bribes anywhere to be seen. No, and there aren't really any trash pieces on the Chaos team. No, Varva has two bibs. Varva was the one who down TV. Oh, wow. So Boomer was an good. overdog. Yeah, yeah, that's strange, isn't mm. it? It is. I mean, perhaps Dionysian with a very tight dwarf squad felt squad felt he just needed that you know that extra man for the first half, knowing he'll lose some. Yeah, but I mean. But I then, if that's the case, we often see Boomer up in the line, don't we? Doing some um, you know bombs on my position and taking the hits. Mm -hmm. But, but you know, the fact the overdog, you know, I'd rather just bought another player, you know, because it might be useful in the next round as well. Yeah, yeah, I think I would too. But I don't trust the bombs to the extent that Dionysian maybe feels he needs to. He's a Famously, of course, will look at a matchup and decide where he thinks he wins it. Hmm. And the fact he's hired the bomber here makes me think he doesn't win it without something high rolling. Yeah, yeah, which I think is a fair assessment. I think it probably is. On balance, I'd call this a 60 40 for the chaos, though the dwarves can get this done. Like you said, the lack of claw palm, the amount of guard they've got. What they really need is those, uh, those stand firms to prove their worth by not getting pushed around and being there to take the hits the next turn. Hmm. Oh, intercept. Is it bugged? Lots of people think so. It has to be, doesn't it? It can't just be confirmation bias. It's it, way too often. It can be. It can be confirmation bias, but the thing is, I wouldn't put it past Cyanide to absolutely mess it up and, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and do a terrible job of, of and yeah, there you go. I mean the end of you know, end of game winnings we all think again is another possible candidate, isn't it? it yeah. Probably we're all just mad, and it is confirmation bias. Mm. But I, I wouldn't swear to it. Yeah, that's the thing. It's, it's the fact that cyanide it gives you mm. that little bit of doubt. <laughs> 100% does. 
I mean, there's simple, unarguable facts. Like I've, and I'm sure you've done the same, listed a 1,400 team and a 1,000 team on GameFinder at the same time and got a game against a 1,400 team with the 1,000 team. Yeah. So yeah. clearly in the matchmaker, they're not looking for Ooh. the best options all the time. No. And that makes you wonder how they've programmed the rest of it. Yep. And, uh, that was good, wasn't it? The uh, the claw might eat unable to blitz there, so having to blitz with this Rackler, but, you know, got the stun, so he's pretty happy with that. <laughs> um, doesn't stand firm here, allows this this chain to get him get him off the mighty blow, I guess that's why Dio did that. Dio! Arnie tagged, tagged Boomer to stop the rain of bombs. Wow, everybody being mean. Imagine being mean to PC. How could, how could you? Dio calling for PC for elf advice. <laughs> now we've got the instant claw mighty blitz. Oh, does he re-roll this? He might. He's got three. I wouldn't have been. I wouldn't have hated. It. I wouldn't have even thought a greed re-roll there was bad because it's like the chaos have to remove people, right? Like if there's no removal, the dwarves are a way better team. Yeah. So, so I don't really hate the re-roll re there, and I wouldn't. I wouldn't have put the chaos. Interestingly, I wouldn't have put the chaos anywhere near sixty forty at the start of this game. I would have put it much more like near fifty four percent for the uh, chaos. Okay, that's fair. And forty six um, for the dwarves. There is. I mean, it is first half rerolls, isn't it? Which are disposable heroes. Mm. And I think to try and get your plan, as you say, which is about a couple of removals, then able to dominate the space. Um, I think that does mean, yes, sometimes you may want to pump them in and, and get that going for yourself. Yeah. Um, second half, the risk profile changes hugely, of course, depending on the score. Um, yeah. I must apologise for my phone interrupting us, Jim. It is a Pixel set, uh, 6, a very modern phone. There is a Pixel 7 now, but the 6 is still pretty decent. Mm -hmm. The reason it is set with the old-fashioned ringtone is it's the only one I feel I can hear reliably through a leather jacket when I'm out and about. Yeah, it's the one that I find the most penetrating. <laughs> Lovely. Now I wonder there also think that talking of the real I wonder if he should have just made this a three dice blitz, right? He was four, five, six against strength three. Maybe he should have tried to make this a three D and uh and even maybe re rolled it. Maybe. Yeah, maybe it, it's a hell of a piece to remove, isn't it? As we're saying, mm. it gives dwarves that, that secondary option when they drive, which is so useful. Mm. If instead of just bringing your runner out and looking for an opportunity to you've got a secondary option on the field that, you know, is a constant threat with only a two plus to hand the ball off. Mm. And again, I wouldn't have minded the reroll from Dio there to try and knock him over because that's his claw, mighty. And I again, think. these bombs are just massive. Now, no damage there, but the, I mean, again, straight to where he wanted it. You know, three chaos facing the bomb. That's uh, that's the the bomb has been very good this half. Hasn't blown himself up yet. Yeah. Would, again, I would have rerolled that one. Like that's his yeah. strength four carrier, like. You know, and I'm not a, I'm not a greedy banger, but I think this was the time for both. Maybe he's dialed less so now because he seems to have the you know the offense a little bit more under control. He does, yeah. But I feel like Vava should have been greedy banging. If ever he should have been greedy banging, it should have been this game. I completely agree. And that hit on the runner, which is such a key piece for this dwarf team. Um, as we said, the other runner largely trash. Um, I I'm a bit confused. We've lost all our momentum as the chaos. We're not progressing the ball. The Dwarves have still dominated the midfield. We're really short on time. We've got plenty of re-rolls in the tank, and we're not... We seem frightened of using them, Jim. Hmm. Yeah, understandable second half, but first half, you'd think both would be, uh... Yeah. Going, going for gold, as it were. But very unexpected. Yeah, it's a bit Johnny Five in chat. He's a great proponent yeah. of using your... Your rerolls liberally and early, and it's it, you know it's hard to hard to argue against really, like you know because you never know if you like you know obviously we always like having rerolls for when we need them, but then there's a good chance that if you use them to generate momentum earlier, then you don't need them later anyway as well, right? There's that like there's that argument, absolutely, and, and obviously you might not need them as well. I mean, I think it's much more understandable for Dio. He's in the you know the defensive position here. He's he's got control of this drive. He's stolen all the momentum right now. Mm. Um, despite that, he's got four rerolls. I'm amazed he hasn't had an opportunity to pop one in somewhere. Yeah. Um, as J5 says, that's you know, we've had one reroll used in over half a, a half of Blood Bowl. 
Mm. So very conservative play at the moment. For the chaos, I think it's almost unforgivable. They've got no momentum heading forwards right now. Um, yeah. They're not dominating this field. The dwarves are. Yep, they've just they've crept them back, haven't they? The dwarves. Here's a reroll. And I'm going to go out on a limb, Jim, and say that I think if the chaos don't score, they lose this game. That's a bold statement. It is, isn't it? <laughs> but I'm inclined to agree. That's funny that how that works. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, they, they haven't really done anything, have they, the Chaos? They haven't banged out the Dwarves. Well, they banged out one instantly. Yeah, they got the instant just, Chaos, um, but they haven't. They've taken two themselves. They, they got the instant bang out back on them from the Claw Mighty. He was able to be blitzed on 2D by the Pommer, which you can argue he should have protected him. Um, but, you know, they still had the Claw Mighty to hit other people and just haven't really done anything after that. Depressingly, Jim, because I've got the client up, we have now caught up. Things are going to slow down. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, it was good while it lasted, wasn't it? We had a, yes, we had a it good was. half a half. <laughs> and Dio isn't a slow coach, it should continue at some form of pace. Yeah. But yeah, right now I do not like the position these chaos are in at all. No, it's looking very tough. I guess the good thing is they've got a couple of free guys. And they've got the claw mighty ready to smash this runner, and I mean that is the best one you can move almost, isn't it? So Yeah, but the niggling claw mighty's gone already to the KO box. And now another another beast removed to the KO box. Just those two KOs are probably enough to see these um, These dwarves of course ten nine on the pitch, so wow. I I think he's gonna stop them. Where is Angelina? <laughs> I don't know, we can't, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to explain for YouTube. <laughs> it is very hard, yes, let's move on. Uh, it is cool. just a joke, I, I, you know. Yes. Very happy with my lovely wife. Yeah. She tells me. <laughs> oh, and they finally get the greed and it results in yep. KO and some actual momentum. Unbelievable. God, it's almost like we should have been doing that a little bit earlier, Jim. Mmm. Isn't it just? But that's exactly what we mean. I mean, imagine if that had been a casualty. It would have been beautiful for Dio, but even just that removal opens up this entire left flank. Yep. Um, it's still going to be tough, but there is now a way to sneak the ball up there. Yep. Tier five is vindicated. Is always being great. Yeah, vindicated. Oh my god, that was a that was a funny meme back in the day, wasn't it? Vindicated. Before your time, PC. That was, but it was it, it was, was very funny. It was very funny. <laughs> Probably best not to explain it because uh, some people might might take offence and call me toxic. But it's not my fault. I'm not toxic. So we're down to just one claw on the pitch. That's um, probably not enough. No, especially not when he can get hit. That's the thing, isn't it? Now he can get yeah. hit this turn. He's already been hit by Pom before, but now he's definitely, almost certainly getting hit next turn. This, uh, this claw mighty. By Mighty Blow. Well, he definitely should be, Jim. Yeah. Sure. I mean, he might throw a bomb first. He might. This is one of those situations like you don't want to, you don't want to activate the bomb first because the risk of the turnover. But you know, if you could do it now, he could open a pit and hit on the ball as well, couldn't he? Even so. There's a lovely spot behind the two chaos warriors and just in front of the two beastmen, which I think is uh, going to be in range two, one, two, three, four, five, six. It is. It would take down an enormous amount of cover on this ball and completely destroy this chaos momentum. Or you just go for the ball carrier itself, or of course those two beastmen in front of the ball. It's three beautiful places to put a bomb here. Yeah. Uh, but it, it takes some uh, some nerve to pull a yeah. bomber as your first mm -hmm. turn action in the turn. Yeah, and you can also just play it safe, right, and assist and block with a block with a blitzer. Like that's a fine use of them. Yeah. And as you said, taking on that that uh, that claw mighty is probably his biggest priority this turn. 
what point and are the they bomber is in a lovely position to assist that blitzer on taking out the, the sole advanced beastman mm. which i think is probably what he'll do and then pile everything he gets free over onto these two beastmen on the side mm. uh, the, the breadless bread j5 <laughs> I've just been to a, a meal for my mother's 80th birthday. We had a huge party last weekend. A meal today, and then we're out to the theatre tomorrow. It's one of those ongoing nightmares that doesn't end. <laughs> and it was a Michelin-starred restaurant, so I paid £135 for one lunch. Which was, frankly, you know, I'd rather have spent a tenner in a greasy spoon, and I'd have had better food. <laughs> there you go. Add to that the passive aggression of my lovely family, and it's been a smashing day. <laughs> well, at least now you can watch Blood Bowl, eh? Absolutely. <laughs> and thanks God, not play it. <laughs> well, I was considering just making something like Goblins and just coming on and just chainsawing some things. That's the mood I'm in. But, uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm fascinated and quite confused by that, Jim. Mm. Why would you push that beastman forwards? Yes. And I and not backwards towards Well, because he wants well, to get away this, from the he scoring. Wants to get oh, yeah, he wants to get yeah, him wants through to get and round, I see. Yeah. I see. Rather than in there. I and guess. that's the assist that's allowing the hit on the claw. But it does mean advancing a beastman who is now actually in scoring range. Mm. Um probably not relevant, but might be. I would take a score here if I was chaos, if I felt I could. Mm. Yep, yeah, me too. I think I can defend two turns against just about any dwarves, even ones with this uh, lovely blitzer. Yep. I, is there a way to get the ball there, though? Especially not if the ball gets bombed here. Is he going to bomb him or is he going to go in front of this beastman? He might just go in front of this beastman. Yeah. Well, he's going to 1D first. Wow. Well, he had the rerolls. Uh, this time they didn't work. I didn't hate the one die, considering the, the number of rerolls. And the rest of the position's pretty safe, but I yeah. probably would have put the bomber in front of that beastman. Yeah, I think so. Mm. Remember, it isn't Bomber Dribble's not, it's Boomer. So he is strength three, he comes with block, he comes with thick skull, he's a dwarf. Yep. Um, so he holds space much better than Bomber Dribble's not does. Yep. Yeah, you could be forgiven for thinking because Bomber Dribble's not given the given the uh, you know the model, but that's just because Cyanide are cheap bastards and bad at programming video games. Ah, but if it happens this time, Jim, it's going to be our fault. It means we didn't want it enough. <laughs> ah, yes, correct. Yeah, cut them some slack, guys. Because <laughs> you know, if we want it enough, they'll make all the things that we want. Hmm. If I wanted enough, obviously, I mean, give them lots of money over repeated periods of time. <laughs> Um, they seem to mean that too, but it's not how they describe it. <laughs> um, it's I, there is a. Am I wrong in thinking I want to get the ball up there and I want to hand it off on a four? No, I, and I, I like the it. Now I think, I think yeah. this gets worse. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And there's only two guards, uh, dwarves, in front of the two chaos warriors, so there is sort of a route up into that area. Yeah. And I think I'd be going hell for leather just to try and make that gap happen and see if I can get the ball up there. Because yeah. the person in possession of the ball right now does have two heads, which does mean he dodges as if he's AG4. I might be trying to leverage that in some way. Yeah, it was an interesting push that, wasn't it, from Dial? And like he did want this guy in here, and if he doesn't get that guy in there, and like you know, it's just from here, then it's yeah. much easier to push down there anyway. Even though he has put him in there, but I think the big one was putting Boomer here. I think he should have put Boomer there before making that one D, and then that tidies everything up, doesn't it? Oh, push again, I, stand firm. Yeah, I wouldn't have. It's because it's a claw pommer, Jim. But I, I mean, I would have got the same push, but I would have done it against the blitzer, so I could sl slip up the side with my ball. Hmm. But the blitzers stand firm as well, to be fair. I know. So I said it would have been the same problem, but mm. I would have been one dying as well, um, which makes it worse. Mm, you could have caught this one. Yeah, I could have caught the inside with the with the tackle piece. 
Well, it's all tidied up now. Yes, but, I mean, you can now get the ball up there, but you've got no re-roll. Um, I Four. still think it's probably what I would try and do here. Yeah, 4 3 two, two, as, as horrible as it is. It's, yeah, it's not terrible from this position, sadly. Mm. I've been saying for a long time, I feel this is a cup that Dio is going to have to try quite hard to not be in a good position to win. Mm. Okay, this, this doesn't... That's not going to work. No, I don't think so. Sorry. He's followed as well, hasn't he? He's taken himself yeah. out of scoring range. Yeah. So now he has no scoring threats at all. Yeah. Which is a, a suboptimal position. <laughs> <laughs> he's My got a brain is potato. Yeah. Because otherwise it's, it's just only a back. single push. Yeah. But frankly, here I'm probably coming with the Slayer. Yeah. Now that I've come in the field, he's definitely coming with the Slayer. Yep. Yeah. You just need to push with the blitzer, put the guard in with the bomber, and then hit with the slayer, and it's all over. Yep. Wow, this is yeah, this is pretty easy, isn't it? Two D assist, and then four D. Should don't might even think about being a little bit greedy to try and get a counter score here. Um, I mean, I probably wouldn't even wear hats if I had two heads, JF. <laughs> or like maybe one big hat. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one big hat. I mean, who knows what it'd be like if you had two ha like wh who knows it'd be like if you had two heads? You know, would you have two brains that think different things? Would they both control the rest of the body? Would would like only one control one side? Who knows how it would work? Playing very slowly, isn't he, Dial? It's taking his time, making sure he does the right things. Sure, he just assists this with Boomer though, and uh, 4D from the Troll Slayer. And my lovely wife again. Now, I wouldn't actually have done that, Jim. I'd have gone to the side of him, because if I do get push into push, I just want to push him out of range. The problem is, then it's then it's a GFI on the second hit. Yeah, I know. So it's... That's where I would have taken my chance. But, I mean, the odds of this being four without power are pretty slim, aren't they? And since yeah. you put a reroll in. Well, there's two. Yeah. There's the power. There's the power, though. And the armor break, and the removal. So the chaos will not score. Hmm. Will the dwarves? You've mm. got to put that. You've got to put them as favourites now, don't you, Jim? Oh yeah, but like, will they score this half? Oh no, no, no. no. You could go for the. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you could go for the no. One D here, and then one, two, three, four. No. GFI, GFI. No, I don't no, think he'll try. Similar to how Angelina Jolie could one day be mine, but in the real world, probably isn't going to be. No, only probably. Only probably. <laughs> well, Never he's say probably that. not going to score then, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I think if we met, we'd get on. That's all I'm saying. That's just. Oh wow! Oh wait, wait a second! Look who's joined the booth. Hello, Angelina. <laughs> Oh no, never mind, false alarm. <laughs> I was just doing my hair. <laughs> One, I was completely tongue tied, didn't know what to say. <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> Not content with stopping the drive, he still wants that one die on a Chaos Warrior. <laughs> yep, disgust to us. How toxic? I'm never toxic. What a thing to say, Slim. Wow. Wow. Yep. Absolutely, Lod. And that's what he was hired for, and that's what he did. Um, I wonder how much that early bomb, just arresting the Chaos momentum, when it knocked three over, didn't break any armour, but it meant instead of hitting back, they were standing up. I wonder if that's where the momentum disappeared. 
Yeah, yeah, that was really good. Yeah, I mean, obviously the the claw pommer getting uh, getting removed was like when I yes, on the claw mate, it was huge. That huge. those knockdowns were huge, and then I do feel Valve well, we should have switched gears, started uh, greed re rolling to try and get removals to get back at you know before, and then he waited till it was like too desperate, right, and then didn't make yeah. a desperate move when it was desperate as well. So yeah, hundred percent. Now he's only getting three three. Um, he's got three KOs. He's only getting one roll on them. Of course, the dwarves have a huge KO roll themselves on their actually good runner. Yeah, but they do have another runner ready to come on. So even if they don't get it back, they'll still be at eleven. The chaos won't be. Yeah, um, coming in with two claws always look light, but one claw looks lighter still. Mm. Actually, they'll lose Boomer, right? So they, yeah, they will be down to ten if he doesn't come back. Because they've got two, two reserves. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, two reserves, but they'll be losing three. So, yes. Yeah. But, yeah, it's, it's oh, yeah, that's a good point. Two bibs for Vava. So, two plus to get everyone back. So, so Vava does have a good chance of getting everyone back. But, you know, if 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 the warrior stays out, it's massive, isn't it? Ooh. Oh, that's huge. Now, that is, yeah, that's a big, big apple. swing. He's going to have to put the yeah. apple on it, doesn't 100%, 100%. he? 100%, 100%. Yeah, there we go. And because it was a badly hurt, it works. Yep. Yeah, it's perfect that it was a badly hurt. Because you'd have had to apple that if it was a miss next, I think. You know, like That's the literal true. worst one to yeah. apple is a miss next. Because yeah. you're not saving a permanent injury and it's not guaranteed to work. But I think even even a miss next, you would have had to reroll there. That was, that was too big a player and too big a, too big a moment. I just really enjoyed saying there's a badly hurt. Of course, you can put apothic because you know, words we won't be hearing as often in the future. All right, only slightly less, right? Six, <laughs> seven out of sixteen instead of eight out of sixteen. I think that's one of the most overblown things about the new rules. Oh wow, he really GFI'd and he could have just moved really his guy. Good. He could have yeah. just literally moved his guy. Oh my god. Well, he had the reroll, Jim. That's terrible. Oh! Oh, you're a little bit ahead, but glorious. <laughs> wow. What a foul. What, I mean, imagine appoing that and then that happens yep. the same turn. Brutal. And no sending off, meaning there's a genuine numbers swing as well as a huge player down. Ooh, and now now Dio's, Dio's runner is absolutely critical because while that was a blitzer rather than a runner, it's like it's, it's his secondary ball carrier for sure, isn't it? So, yep. Uh, 100%, Jim. Brutal, brutal, brutal stuff for Dio there. Diced. Glory. We've already seen uh, a good dwarf lose its strength. That one's only badly hurt. But the Apo is gone now. So mm. any more attrition, you know, it's going to count for the next game. Mm. I still think Dio's going to win this one. That's You may have heard my implication there. Yeah, I mean, I think he's favoured. It's, it's, it's just got a lot harder. I mean, if this, if this KO... It definitely has. Yeah. If this KO goes out, I think the chaos become favoured, honestly. If, this chaos if, if, if they get their other claw back and the runner stays out I'm with you I'll, yeah. I'll pick the chaos mm. but they have lost their ball carrier as well and their secondary claw true true Dio makes the bomb oh, oh, oh another fabulous bomb but a total failure to actually hurt anybody <laughs> oh yeah all three come back Boomer and the goes. Runner stays and out. The runner stays oh. out. Yep, I think that Oof. makes the chaos favoured. Honestly, this is. I, uh... Do you know we've got eleven chaos facing nine dwarves? Now the dwarves have got the ball, but their runners trash. They've lost their big handoff option, and one of their big killers is out too. I. Oh, it's still yeah. a lot of guard, but yeah, I. Given the choice, I'd probably take the chaos here. And I quite like some dwarfing. Yeah, I'd, I'd take the chaos here. Yep, yep. Can't believe the halfling's got knocked out for this. <laughs> <laughs> I did see that halfling game versus Dio. It was some um, extraordinary, wasn't it? Yep. A misclick. Yeah, brutal. Tragedy. Brutal. Had a genuine chance for such a scalp. Yeah. And a misclick ruins him. Yeah, tragedy. Now, what a second half. Gosh, this couldn't be more poised. If the dwarves can remove a couple on the line of scrimmage, 
if they can secure and get that ball and stabilize I mean, perhaps they're going to be back in this they do still have three mighty blow on the field they have a, a slayer that can get some action done move some things around for them they do have a runner that can pick the ball up they're not reliant entirely on the two they've lost yeah. they do still have another blitzer so there's another ag3 on the field but they need to get those numbers back in their favor because dwarves do not do well down numbers. No, and they're, they're down such quality as well. That's the yeah. thing as well, isn't it? Not only yeah, numbers, really it's, it's mega quality. Yeah, three so. really good players got out. Three of their best. Yeah, this is, this is brutal. I mean, even the beard was a, another stand firm guard, and, and stand firm's a key part of how Dio gets these things done. Mm. They're standing them on a, a, a naked beastman. Even if you put the assist in there, there's a good chance they pull a reroll or it's a one in nine. Hmm. And, that, and that's the Again. thing as well. Even if he gets the removals here with these mighty blow hits, he's removing trash. And yeah. he's down. He's down top quality. So, yep, this is going to be really difficult. But if anyone can do it, Dio can. And even then, you only see the numbers getting back to what? Even at best. And as you say, <laughs> then the Chaos have got all their best ones still. Yeah. And they need to keep that uh, that niggled warrior with the claw. They need to keep him a little safer this half, I would suggest. Yes. Yeah. Dio will target that niggle, try and get it removed. Yep. Nil nil the kicks. Savage calling it. Ooh, that's a very early call, Savage. I, I don't see it. I think there's too few dwarves. I think either they can get through somehow, or the chaos will swarm over them. Hmm. And if I had to put money on right now, I I, I do slightly favour the chaos. Yep, I, I would too. However, there are Dio knowing Dio is about to remove three out of three beastmen, isn't he? <laughs> no, the pom fails. I don't understand, Jim. Well, it doesn't work every time. Oh, is it because it hasn't got claw? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you just get dice, don't you, at the end of the day? Nothing you could do. Yeah, that does happen. Mostly to me, I find. <laughs> it always happens to me. If there were no dice, I'd win every hand. <laughs> <laughs> you are aware of my famous answer once to how much is there, how much is luck in Blood Bowl. Oh. I said instantly it's 28%. Uh, it's uh -huh. I said, how can you be so exact and certain? I said, easy, I've got a win rate of 72%. There, there you go. However, yeah, it, it would then be 50, 28 games are decided by luck. 56, though, isn't it? 56 PC. Because if, you would have won 28% of those anyway. If you, if you, you know, if the if the luck is insurmountable for you to win 28% of the time, then also 28% of your game, like you know, the other 28% were free wins, right? Yes. The the joke being that I only lose to battle. I know that's the joke, but but, but yes, I actually think it probably is about that. And you're right. I've probably won as many and lost as many on good and bad luck. I think we probably all have when you play yeah. games. Yeah, it's just that obviously the higher win rate is the less impactful that is on your overall win rate because you are much more likely to win those games where you dice people. However, you still will win those games where, you know, a, a 30% would have won those games with those dice, but you still yep. get those dice those just the yep. same as they do, right? Yep. Except I don't, but in theory I should. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't, but... <laughs> No, that's just how it works, isn't it? This is going to be interesting. There's a very strong middle to this dwarf team and trash around the edges. Yep. Do we engage the centre? I think he can and he will. Particularly with one on the ground having pommed. We've got enough chaos that we can engage everything here and have yep. strength advantage all over some of those matchups. Yeah, I think everything goes in here. Herb, uh, base, base, base. I kind of agree. And I'm hoping this is where we see the genius of all that block guard paying off on the Chaos team. Mm, it's not allowed to blitz. No, me neither. Herb, herb. Base, base, base. He's this going for ball fail. contact. I'm on the right. Oh, oh, oh. I like a bit of ball contact. Of course he is. He's touching up the ball carrier, Jim. <laughs> hey. It's not what I would have done. I would have definitely gone for this, this uh, stand firm one here. You don't um, like threatening another man's balls? <laughs> I, don't, I don't like it. I've, I've been burned too many times by a space cadet. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll blitz this guy and then try to put three guard on this on this pom to neutralise the pom. Yeah, then... exactly the same. I was looking at the strong middle, thinking I want to take that on. Actually, perhaps mm. only the one turn. And the problem is, if you 
get caught on them all because of the stand firm. You might be there for five turns, but mm. remove one of those two, and this game is pretty much over. Mm. But this is fine too, right? This is a lot of it's a, a lot, lot of pressure. Pressure. He's just got to keep this right hand side safe at the same time. But you see, this is where those block guard strength fours are earning their keep. Mm. And you couldn't do all of this if you had claw palm on them all, because you wouldn't have that block guard. I mean, you couldn't this. do this if you had claw palm on them all, because there'd only be three dwarves left. <laughs> yes, they'd all be dead. Yeah, that's, that's a fair counter. <laughs> but I'm just saying, this build does have advantages in some situations. Oh, for sure, yeah. It's a much more conservative chaos build, and there's some matchups it's better in. Um, mm. And so he is very much leveraging what he's got here, which is a, a strong, clawy dwarf team he's essentially built. Yeah. A bit of a pickle for Dial. You might see a one dice to open the turn here. Well, I can see some lovely two dice with the Slayer, but what do they gain you? Uh, exactly, exactly. I think it might have to be a one -er to start. I'm not sure what the one -er gains me either, but I feel like <laughs> it's getting to that point where it might have to be a one -er to start. For the well, you can of Slayer the Claw Mighty. And then drop on the beast in front of it. And that at least gives you somewhere to run away to. Yep. That looks to be the plan that we're seeing from Dio. Yep. Oh my well, god, kill there him. we go. Huge. What a player, guys. Who Obvious needs a mighty blow player. when you can just kill things? Yep. He's fine, though, Jim, turns out. He's fine. It's fine. Now, you don't even need to use if you just add the assist, you can use the dwarf that's in front of the warriors, and that frees up another guard you can use elsewhere, which you can then put in front of the runner, and use the blitzer to leverage the runner out. Yeah, that's pretty nice, isn't it? It is. That's what I'd be looking to do. And there's no good GFIs involved. Ho -ho. And then no, no dodge for the runner. Yeah. Oh, if, if he get gets another point. removal, wow. I'd have liked it a lot, but he didn't. Oh well. Yeah, this chain out's really nice. It? And he it yeah. doesn't even need the power, because if he gets the push, he can hit with the other one as well anyway. Yep. And if he does get the power, then the other one gets a nice hit on the warrior. Yeah. And that whole chain has just opened up this whole whole front, hasn't it? Giving yep. you a real chance to stabilize a bit. Yep, this was surprisingly easier than I thought at first glance. But, uh... It's still gonna be in a, he's still going to be in a pickle afterwards, but yeah. I guess this shows like the weakness of the ball contact, doesn't it? Because Dyer was able to solve it and uh, you know hit a valuable player while doing it as well. Yep. I really didn't like dropping that. Ooh. I didn't like where the claw mighty ended up. No. I, I would have kept it safe at the back with the ball carrier. Yep. I'm surprised he did that hit first. Oh, I guess so he can push yeah. the other one out and then hit with this one anyway, so he didn't need that one. That was the obvious one to hit, but he can just push. He could push him there if it's a push, and then he can hit there and push out the runner that way, right? Yes. Yeah, you're right, he can. No, I was looking the same and thinking this doesn't quite work as I expected it to. I'd have done the other hit first. Yeah, I would have done With the blitzer. Just but... so I know where I'm stood as well. Like, that's the yeah, thing, isn't it? This, is, this is fine. Yeah, this is fine. Really, you stood this guy up, you know, about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, which makes me wonder if he's dodging off at the end. If we are moving over to the other side of the field and he's going to dodge off. Oh, no, he is just standing up. Then, yeah, he should have stood up a lot earlier. Oh, wow. Ooh! Not chaining the runner off. Oh, I'm not sure I like that, Jim. I think that's uh, a greedy hit. I'm sure I don't like it. But, again, you know, how do you get this yeah. done? How do you get this done? That's the question. And... Maybe Dio thinks how he gets this done is letting his ball get uphill bl blitz because he's got guard on either side, so it's not really in danger, is it? Fine. And he gets an additional Absolutely knockdown fine. on claw, you so... Yeah, yeah, and it was the niggled claw, so... I, yeah, he's mine. trusting, but it's a blockless runner. Mm. I mean, I'd take the two reds on that. Um, and you would, but it doesn't mean everyone would. Yeah. And uh, thank you very much for the raid, Eliod. Glorious to have you here. Welcome, Eliod viewers. To Vava, the mad lad and his chaos. And Dionysian, the mad lad and his dwarves. <laughs> this looks over! 
surprisingly not over actually early orders. Not yeah. over. It, it looks a lot less over this turn. Uh, before this turn, there was an there was an extra claw mighty beastman who's just been cal uh, just been cast up or used. So now Dio's only one player down, and he's managed to get rid of all the ball pressure and yeah, he's mm. suddenly back to about fifty fifty. I would say. And there's only one claw player on the pitch, and it's not blitzing. It's standing mm. up. Not what I would have done. Yeah, but you can't say if it's right or wrong, though, Jim. Nobody can say if anything's right or wrong. Except it's definitely not over. If you say something's over, you're definitely wrong. Unless it's literally over. <laughs> now, it, it's an interesting view we've got here, Jim, but do you spot just over the left-hand side, just ahead of you and me, where that Slayer is? There's acres of empty space. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I haven't noticed this entire half of the field, yeah. Well, see, I mean, I am a lover of some space, so, you know, you're not going to be amazed that I saw it. <laughs> but there's not much chaos holding the line over that side. No. No, the I fancy a, Yeah. I quite fancy moving that way if I'm the dwarves. Hmm. The problem is, of course, if you do, you can't take half the team with you, so it's it's tricky, isn't it? It is tricky. But I also wouldn't be above banging a, a score in on turn four here. Mm. Remember, we're the one that's got a good player to come back. The Chaos don't, right? Um, I feel um, like all you can do is just fight. Fight and fight and fight. <clears throat> Keep hold well, the ball as long as you can, and then make a break at the end. I, I feel is the way to do this, honestly. There's nothing wrong with that, but the Chaos have the same fear. They've dropped the ball carrier back to cover that breakthrough now, the Tato. Mm. And with that final power, that's probably enough to stop me wanting to do it, but only probably. Mm, I think just I just with my blocks. With my Slayer, I think I can free up at least two other Dwarves to come with the runner, but... I mean, perhaps you're right. Perhaps it's just take the fight to them and hope to get a bit more numbers in your way. Yeah, I think I like that. I think that's probably given you the most the most equity all altogether. You know, uh, Dio likes to assess all the lines, assign each one an equity value, and choose the highest one. <laughs> Which is what we all do, really, isn't it? We just don't don't all make he, songs for yes. about it. He will certainly tell you he has done that. Mm. And uh, to me, it feels like just milling around at midfield. Certainly, that it's it's still like it's. If they come onto you, it opens up the back as well, right? Like, you know, you're going to get a chance if they try and crack you open. So it's like, it's not, it's kind of the safest way. And it also gives you the outside chance as well. I, I don't hate it. But it's hard for the dwarves still, isn't it? Um, it? Jay Lee, my answer to you is that knowing Dio, he is much more likely to sit and fight and one decent lads and then try the late run. Yeah. Um, he is, he is much happier starting turn seven with, you know, on the halfway line with the ball than I am. Yeah. I guess I am as well. But then, there's only one of us three who, who anybody would say is the best dwarf coach. I mean, so, sorry, elf coach. <laughs> well, that would be Dio, I'd have thought. No, I won't give Reynolds in. No, Until I I'm victorious. I think most people would pick you, PC. I, will defend. I am continuously I will overrated, defend. Jim. I've said it before. <laughs> If someone comes onto me, it opens where it up the back with hay. I mean, I'm not bad at Blood Bowl, but I'm nowhere near as good as everyone seems to think I am. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Randall Calrissian, and staying fantastic for 27 months. Glorious. Way as well. Yep, that was pretty good, wasn't it? Um, no, I mean, Dio's really good. To be fair, Dio's really is. good. So it's like, it's, it's, it'd be close between uh, between Dio and PC. And, I and guess... you're a hell of a dwarf coach too, Jim. Well, when your thanks. head's right. Thanks, but I think I think even when it isn't, but when your head's right, you you know you're up there with me. I'd say easily. Oh, thank you very much. However, you don't believe it, and that's quite useful when we play. In that you start thinking, I'm guaranteed to be. No, I I do believe it. I just try to be honest, <laughs> <laughs> which I ruthlessly use. <laughs> I just try to be honest. I fully believe nobody's better than me at anything. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, um, there you go. <laughs> this is uh, this is 
<laughs> oh, Hancock. In a Blood Bowl coaching scenario, Hancock, obviously. I was going to go with having toes, Hancock, but yes, wow. a good point. Wow. Wow. Toxicity. Rampant toxicity. Well, we have a beautifully stabilised situation here. Mm. Can we get that tricky, but it's... Mm, okay. I'm Isn't looking to try and take over the... Knock over the dwarf on the sideline so that I can dodge out the wrestle tackle and hit this runner-up from behind. Yeah, and it's not even hard, is it? No, it isn't that hard. It's so, not easy, but it's... I mean, getting a one die, because you need to push it. Yeah. So getting a one die for a three-plus is not tricky at all. No, it's super easy. Barely an inconvenience. In 100%. fact, you could even maybe... No, you can just... Oh, my God, well, at the moment, you can just chain him on. Right, you can punch yes. him into there, into, yeah. there, into there, and chain him on anyway. And obviously that would be it. a one D, but you could do that. And yeah, and then you can, you can either on. dodge off or deal with the one that makes it a one D. Either way, yeah, you've got you've got choices. But it's it's certainly a route I'd be looking to do something about. So I think the runner needs to move. Yeah, I think so. But he's oh, but he doesn't, Jim. He doesn't. Interesting. Super if interesting. We don't see a ball hit this turn. I want my money back. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that chain is only for a 1D, right? But, like, it is kind of guaranteed to... Uh, it's almost guaranteed to generate the 1D, isn't it? And it's yeah. 2D. And the other way is you just 2D this guy. Like, if you push, you chain him on, and if you pow, then you can clear and uh, get this guy for that 1D. But then that just... That one was up the dodge anyway. So, that, no, it's it's better just to do that, isn't it? Chain just chain him on. I mean, you say a 1D like it's a bad thing, Jim, and obviously it is. You choose to have a 2D or a 3D if you possibly could. But 1D against a blockless runner when you've got Wrestle? Yep. Correct me yeah. if I'm wrong, but there's quite a lot of the dice on that 1D that are good for you. Yep, and there we go. That's there exactly what he does. First it. action. He's done it. Before he so even stands fifth... up this beast, man. <laughs> well, he might need him to come around the edge of that Slayer. There might be a ball to be fetched, Jim. Mm, I don't know. I would stand it up. I think I think, I, think I would stand it up too, but <laughs> I'm just trying to defend what is otherwise slightly indefensible. Hmm. It's a 50% hit. If you're prepared to put a reroll in, that makes it 75% of downing this runner. You can push him forwards where there's a reasonable chance it scatters through the chaos and you can collect it even. And even if it drops on the ground, we have discussed Dio's lack of carrying options. Any kind of armor break would be brutal. I wouldn't have taken that hit first. No, no, that seems terrible. Um, I guess, I, well, no, it's not terrible, right? Because if, if if you push, then you just do the dodge. And the dodge hit might be better than the 1D anyway. Why are we right? moving all of our players before we do the hit? I don't know. Because we're going to hit it towards our line. There is a reasonable chance it bounces through the line. I suppose we've got our ball carrier to collect it, but I'd want a couple of other pieces to move around. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, he's probably going to do the dodge first, right? So it's, it's 1 in 9, it just ends, so I think... A bit of conservatism is fine. I, I find yeah. it hard to criticise people playing pretty safe, you know. Yeah, I mean, the, the the negative side of what I've just said is that, I mean, you're right, Jim, he's now got a nice line up in front of these dwarves. If this fails, he's still in a decent position, isn't he? He yeah, did do the dodge. Yeah. There's probably I more don't. chance of getting the ball loose this way, I think. Might be less chance of turning over as well overall if you if you like if you're gonna re-roll the one D for a pal. You know, like for your seventy five percent chance. Yeah, I am. If you're gonna commit the re-roll, it probably is correct to do that. Probably, I don't know. Don't quote me on it. But I think if you're gonna <laughs> if you're gonna commit the re-roll hundred percent to like to get the pal, then it's probably better to do the, the, the dodge, I would imagine, because then like, you know, eight times out of nine you've got the two D anyway, haven't you? Um and like, well, two times out of three, you can get two that you can reroll as well. So, Jim, you're a hundred percent right. It is seventy nine percent to do the three plus for a two die, and it's of course with reroll. And as I said, it is uh, seventy five percent without. Uh, interestingly, without the reroll, they're both fifty percent. Hmm. Interesting. Three plus two die and one die uh, when you have wrestle. So three good options. Are both fifty percent, but when you put the re-roll in, the three plus two die uh, gains four percent. There you go. So it is the better play. Lovely, well done, well done, Vava. And um, but yeah, that has cost him, hasn't it? Because now there is the surf here. 
there is the thing about fail state being slightly better because you're not doing a dodge where you can be on the ground you're doing a push more likely which leaves you still on the runner but yes in terms of just knocking him over probably that four percent makes it the better play yeah I mean, you have to surf this guy, don't you? Have to. And then you can just make a sideline cage as horrible as it is. Yep. Oh, he's not. I, like, I would have just liked taking the surf and making the sideline cages as much as I hate a sideline cage. I think just taking that surf and then trying to do something in the middle. This is like the this other guy's option. Got a plan. Yeah, use the blitz. Take the surf and drop the guard in to make sure you can do hits elsewhere. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, it gets to bang out both warriors now, doesn't he? Bang down yep. both warriors, probably. Yep. Yep. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good stuff from Dio. The eye cage not quite as good against Beastmen, of course. Still do no. get a one. But both the um, both the claws off the pitch again. Mm. Chaos now, desperately scrabbling to stop this dwarf advance. Yeah. Lovers of uh, pure numbers, we are now eight chaos versus nine dwarves. Oof. What a turnaround! Mm. Wouldn't have, wouldn't have bet on that at the start of the drive. But he still had left him a 79% shot on his ball carrier with two die. He did, yeah. Which is pretty horrific. Yep. Good evening, B a G. But it went to ground, and sometimes you have to leave a chance, and it creates an opening. Yeah, I mean, he didn't have much choice, I don't think. No. Nope. I don't think it was a bad play, but did it? I wonder if it was uh, the wrong player to to do to apply the ball pressure rather than just winning the middle, as we both were inclined to do. But I, oh, who knows? It, it was a choice, and had it worked, I mean, that I still think he got that dodge. He got a seventy-nine percent play to knock the ball carrier over. I'd be very happy with that in most games. Yeah. And Dio, I mean, yes, he could have moved the runner to the left into the centre of the field, which was a bit better defended that turn. So there was some slight decision um, errors there from Dio. Mm. He'll tell you it wasn't, because <laughs> he's never made a mistake in his life, but <laughs> it genuinely 100% was. <laughs> oh wow, huge power. Huge power that, isn't it? Because that, it that was like, Dio could have got something going down that side, but nope. Yep. Yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot he could have done. No, sorry. I don't think there was a whole lot Dio could have done there. Like I think he was in a bit of a pickle, right? And I think there was always going to be some dice that could have been rolled to get the ball. Yes, I think there probably was. Um, I think the one on the Slayer was just coming back from being stunned, Jay Leave, and the Slayer, I think, meant that there probably wasn't a route around the back. No, yes. No, I won't but he probably just about added a couple of go for it to the rest of the piece and I will defend. He could have brought the I will troll slayer over and like maybe he's repositioned the runner somewhere. Months, baby. But it was hard, wasn't it? Glorious, thank you very much, Fimir. <laughs> Staying fantastic for 39 glorious months. Nearly 10 whole beaver pregnancies. Oh yeah. Anyway, that was then, this is now. But I will stand yeah. by the fact that I think that was a DO mistake and he got away with it. Yeah, but fair that's enough. Blood Bowl, we, you know, we all do that. Yep. Oh, here we go. We're pushing. Oh, he There's doesn't the get the pow. He doesn't get the pow. There isn't the hole. No. No hole. <laughs> I think it was the correct move to try and get that. Absolutely. Now he's just going to be able to punch things. Oh, kills him. Now it's nine versus seven. And this is like, this is the thing about the punching plan, isn't it? You know, like this has worked yep. out pretty well. Lots yep. of removals. And you know he's got. I that. mean, that said, if the chaos can stop him, they're in a good position for overtime. But 
Uh, they've got plenty coming back, but oof, stopping him now looking. It's a big ask. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, he can't move the ball, can he? He's got to keep the ball here, which is pretty yep. dodgy as well, because now, you know, you can come around and do all sorts on the side there, so. Well, that wrestle tackle is always a threat. As you said, it can always get one die. And it's still a blockless piece, that's still a 50% hit. And there's a guard right here, so we can just power this guy, get the guard in, and then dodge for a 2D. Or he can 1D and then come in with one of these as well. Yeah, so there's plenty of ways of getting this done. Yeah, and if he moves it, then it's a 3 plus for a 2D with Rackle, so yeah, it's pretty horrendous. Not that Rackle matters, like the wrestler doesn't matter because he's defenseless anyway, so any of the block guys are, are a nightmare for Dio, so yeah, this is pretty bad. I wonder if it's best just to move up here, so like. At least you're further away from everything because this looks horrible. I mean, the problem with moving up behind the doors, and I would tend to do that, is there are ways of knocking it so that the bounce is more likely to go towards chaos. But I mean, he's got the numbers. If he can stabilize this one more turn, yeah, it's probably going to all be all right. But this is the tough one. Yeah. Do you know what I think he does here? No, I think he puts the one on next to the and hits that. Mm, he could just potato. He could just potato and then uh, dodge this guy off and tag the yes. warrior. Yes, yes, and tag the warrior. But then there's a three, a three plus, plus to hit with a warrior from the other flank or with the two heads beastman to come back and hit him. Yeah, it's tough, isn't it? <laughs> He's going for it. Oh, you could go here. You could. Oh no, he can't. He could have gone here. Yes. Yeah. One further back just to to nail that warrior on the two yeah. dwarves holding it on the sideline. Yeah. But there, he now has to make this three plus. Doesn't make it. Needs to re-roll it. Makes it and sits on the warrior. No. No. He is full on space cadetting, Jim. Wow. Wow. He's accepting the ball will go down. He's expecting he can get it back. Wow. Um, okay, that's okay. That's better. Yeah, that's better. Defending the Did the no reroll go for it? Super easy. <laughs> Glorious SFX. Um, yeah. So do you just go for the three plus hit? <laughs> well, you could two two. You could actually two two with this yeah. guy. I was going to say that it's the same. Three plus for a two die or uh, a one die with no three plus on a blockless carrier, remember? Or you can two plus two plus for two die on it. Mm. And I think I would do that. The problem is, you've got then, if you take him away, then he's out of the way, isn't he? But then I guess if you do go with him, then you can dodge him back as well. So it's a bit six and two threes, really. Like, I know the two two is slightly, slightly better odds than three, or probably actually quite better odds than the three. But, um, You're right, the three does give you perhaps better um, dealing with it and picking it up afterwards options. And also, I think what's decided to do it this way is that the ball should, on any kind of power, be headed towards where the uh, the beastman with the extra arms and the two heads can come around and pick it up. Yeah. So I think that's what slewed him into going in this direction. Yeah, and this is safer because you just definitely get something, like you definitely get a strength four guy and stood in front of him, don't you? Which is yeah. pretty nice. I mean, yeah, except that, you know, look at how many ways you can solve that without trying if this fails. Yeah, no, but it's still it's still something you have to roll dice to solve, isn't it? So... Yep. 75% hit gets the big pal. Ho -ho. Mighty blow on AV8. And it's mighty blow as well. Never underestimate the greedy banger. <laughs> well, that all went wrong. We didn't break the AV8. We used the reroll, and we're not. The ball is not in range of the... Uh, for the ball carrier to come and pick up. Mm. On the plus side, the ball is hidden behind two chaos in possibly the only area of the pitch they've got any right to say they control. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's three squares directly behind them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you dodge the beastman here as well, don't you? You, yeah. you bring the ball carrier back and yeah. then you dodge the beastman. There's no point just letting him get hit. Yeah, I would say so, yeah. Like, what, ball carrier to here or here? Yeah. And then dodge this one off. Uh, brings him back. 
that's where he's gone. Didn't go dodge the beastman. I think that's wrong, Jim. Mm. I think it gets killed. I mean, it does occupy one of them, but only one of them because it's it's guaranteed to push, and then you've got this guard free anyway. So like, it's not it's not really holding anything really, is it? You know, it's it's a one in thirty six. Yeah. And 55% of the time, 75% of the time, it takes a pow for seemingly no real reason. Yeah, it's just it's just one guy's action that's, who's who's skillless. <laughs> like, at least if they were both guarders, you know, at least you're taking the guard out for the turn, but you're just taking his literal worst player on the pitch <laughs> out of the equation this turn. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, th this is possible to chain the, the Warriors out and then yeah. leave the runner only a dodge to fetch the ball. Yeah. Yeah, really easy to chain Warriors. But you need to power this one first. Yeah, I need to power this one first. I'm surprised we haven't seen him take that beastman head. Yeah. Yeah, I'd do that first automatically, honestly. And then I would have put the guard in where he's put that guard in, would have been the pommer. I guess so you could tag the ball carry with him, but I would have done the I would have done the oh wow. Only a push. Yeah, that's that's less than optimal. Mm. Keck would he love us by the way, we are down to one one re rolls. Oh uh, they yes. each have one, but only one. Yeah, yeah the Mutan elves. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, and he hit with a pot. He hit with a mighty. That's interesting. I would have definitely hit with a rookie, and then got the mighty blow, like the guard engaged somewhere else. The guard stand firm somewhere more relevant. I would have done the same. I understand why Dio has though. It's because he's a filthy banger, and he wanted to hurt it. Hmm. If the and they're not piling on, which I think is probably right too. Oh, you yeah. can't pile on at this point in the game. No. This but I'd have been with you, Jim. I'd have brought the guard up somewhere more relevant. Yeah. Wow, a turn of not powers for Dio. He's going to be quite confused by this. Not the dice he's used to seeing. <laughs> well, he's not used to seeing any dice, is he? There aren't any. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> so some, a series of poor decisions here by Dionysian. <laughs> Including that one, where he's put himself where it's a one die on the ball carrier uh, and a one die on the warrior. Oof. Let's push. What's he going to do with the runner? Just run up and stand, not basing it. I'd still fancy the. Can he dodge out? He's only got one reroll, Jim. Uh, I remember if this, if this goes off the pitch, he's not got a lot of AG3 left. No, but I mean, he would have. I assume that if you're not dodging, you've already stood up, right? Yeah, or unless you're staying staying down. Mm, I could just stay down, yeah. Yeah, good point. Didn't think of that. Just stay down. Seems really risky to stay down. I think I would really want bodies up and around the ball. Oh, he does do the dodge. done up. the dodge in the end. Yep. Again, I... I don't think you can mark this um, guard warrior up and get a tucker zone on the ball, can you? No, I, th I think it would be dodge away and just stand around. Extremely dangerous. Player. I'm quite happy with where he is, to be honest. No, he does go for the contact. Mm, interesting. Wow. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's something to do with PC. There's a microphone or something. It's it's not it's not me playing Marvel Snap. <laughs> Oh, am I clicking again? Sorry, I've no idea why that happens sometimes. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't, I don't know, but it's yes, yeah, definitely PC's clicking. Apologies. No problem. And uh, I've never, I would never play Marvel with Snap on casting. What a thing to say.
It's funny that two people said it though. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't get the knockdown. So big payoff for for uh, Dio. To be fair, like if he doesn't do that, then that guy's just picking up the ball, isn't he? So or doing something more scary. So fair enough, basing him, but it was risky, and I didn't like it. But maybe it's what again, maybe it's what had to be done. The ball carry can just and it it has made like a screen, hasn't it? So the ball carry's got to make an extra two plus to get there. And it's got to play around the ball, so that when he does get there, it makes it harder. Yep. I mean, considering the, the paucity of Chaos players still on this pitch, I think they've done a very, very good job with this. Uh, this they have, play. yeah. You know, I've I've criticised Varvar a bit in this run, but uh, I think this is the best he's played in the quarterfinal, which is a, a good time to do it, isn't it? Yeah, I've liked most of the decisions, most of the blitz targets, most of the shapes he's pulled, I think, have all been fine. Hmm. No, I, harsh, but I think it was, you know, he did do a few mistakes in his own drive, but yeah. Like, you know, I think should have been a bit greedier, should have been, uh, and then should oh, have been a bit more desperate, yeah. I, I mean, it, as I said, it's the second half I've really liked what he's done, the first half, no, not so much. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I think he sat there expecting that two claws was going to get it done. I mean, he could just sit there and hit dwarves, they'd all disappear and he'd walk in. Well, against Dio, it takes a bit more than that, frankly. <laughs> yeah. And as you said, you know, without three or four claw palms, you can get lucky, but you're still looking for Claw Mighty to, you know, to do it for you. And you've got to give it that chance. You've got to be prepared to take some re-rolls and get up in their face with it. Mm -hmm. And keep it safe, and he's not really done either. No. This is an instant 2D on the ball here, isn't it? But Yeah. But can he get it done? But afterwards? then what? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Benny Bartes, not bad. Thanks. Oh, Alma forever. Uh, there's there's a dead block tackle, which I guess is good for you. And uh, what's this? Is this just missed next? Not badly hurt. This yeah. one's minus strength. last minute dodge off has tightened things up quite a lot. The instant two die is a bit less instant now. Yes, yeah, that's, that was huge, that one. Because, yeah, this guy just walked here, he stood up and he went in. So it was an instant 2D. So, yeah, huge dodge. Huge dodge. I mean, it's it's still not a very difficult 2D to make happen. You bring the Slayer up, stand up the, the one at the very bottom of the pack, and that gives the other Blitzer a chance to um, do a 2 die on that Chaos Warrior, put in one tackle zone in, you can stand up the other side for the second tackle zone. Yeah. And the free beard at the front can come in and, and Blitz from the front, tagging that other Warrior whilst hitting the ball, knocking it towards the sideline where the runner can come down and sweep it up. I mean, that's just my thinking as an elf coach, but... <laughs> Yes, no, it's instant. Yeah, that, that was the thing, wasn't it? It is. It is not quite instant. He does need a push. So, like, but yeah, yeah it's almost as instant. But you know, needing right. a push is better than not needing one. Yeah. Though, is it because there was a one in three chance that he just he he just destroyed you know his position for no gain, right? If he fails the dodge, then well, uh, yeah, things all get worse. I think it's it's going that badly for him that it is worth doing the three plus. To be yes, honest. I felt so. And because otherwise the the two die was such child's play and it put yet more dwarves into bad spaces. This at least stops yet another dwarf coming up and around where the ball is. Yeah. Okay, let's see if he's seen it. And if not, what other plan does he have? Surely, I think he's surely going for that. I'd be shocked if he didn't. He's taking his time. I mean, yeah, surely he's doing old... this. If he's thinking about which... Oh, wow, okay. Well, I don't know what he's doing then. No. I... Oh, he's blitzing with the one who's downed. Okay. I think my plan was better. This is a one die. Oh, yeah, this is a one die. Yeah, oh, yeah, that was shit. <laughs> I'm shocked. At that because this guy's obvious, you've just seen him dodge away from him. Like, oh, was it a oh, GFI no, doing oh. the GFIs? Two GFIs with the Slayer wow. instead. Wow, although similarly, the 
blitz action here is going to push the ball if it downs into a nice space for the runner to get to it. Yeah, this is a lot better payoff. This is a lot better payoff. So the payoff here is higher for those two two pluses. Yeah. Oh my god! And gets the kill. Yeah, I think that's and a reasonable chance that he can get this into a place where he can score from it. Oh, yeah, look lovely. at that. Look at that. Look at dog. It's oh, a dodge really. to get there though. Oh, double GFI. Yeah. Yeah, or as you say, double GFI. And it leaves him still seven squares away. And he's does doing he the use two the GFI. Oh, oh do he use the last three roll? Because there's one to do after this, and then one to do next turn at least, if mm. he does do it. And all it takes is a three plus for the Chaos to get. Oh. He does use it, and it snakes, Jim. Oh, man. Oh, oh give Samich a Samich. <laughs> she's right, she's right. Not right yet. <laughs> there is the overtime to sit through. Mm -hmm. I thought Samich had predicted 0 0 and we go to overtime. Oh, no, zero, 0 0 kicks. kicks yeah. Right, okay, so we're, we're at a half Samich. You're at a half Samich yet. Yeah. It's, 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 uh, it's half a foot long at the moment. <laughs> DB Jock would have let it go. Yeah, it's hard to say, isn't it? Because like, there's a lot to be said for just winning in normal time, isn't there? And if you do pick it up, then he's got to dodge and hit you and power you. You know, yeah. it's like, and then so there's a good chance he uses his reroll then to to get it back off you, and there's a good chance he fails, and there's a good chance you just score and win. So I think it's quite reasonable to reroll it. It, it, it wasn't unreasonable. I understand people saying they wouldn't. I'd love to think I wouldn't, but I know me. I would have seen the chance of a victory and I'd have gone for it. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't I don't know whether what I'd like to do. Um, I don't know what the highest odds are, but I think I would. I think I would have really it. I think, I think in those situations, you've just got to go for the win because there's just too much odds of like you losing the toss yep. and them just winning, you know, them just rolling dice and everything. So. Well, they've got three definitely coming back, and then a killer probably come, 50 percent coming back. Two plus coming back. Yes, of course he did take. As you said, he took the, um, the two uh, kegs. I'm trying to move that language. Mm -hmm. And with two kegs, uh, yes, it is just a two plus to see that killer back on the field. Obviously, cannot reroll this at all. What? What? <laughs> you gotta be joking me! <laughs> what have I just seen, and why? Why did that happen? Why is that a thing that I've just seen? I, I guess because he's thinking Dio can block him into there and then block him into there and then maybe score with a, with a blitzer, but that's really... He can't. I mean, he can. There are chain pushes here that make Dio score, but without a reroll, I I would pretty much gamble they're not going to happen. Yeah, I would have also gambled they weren't going to happen. Yeah. But then I'm not sure I'd have done that blitz in the first place, but... I hated it, Jim. Yeah. If I wanted to do an attrition blitz, there's a lovely dwarf at the back that could have been served. Mm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, he's nearly there, Jim. Mm. One more step and it's in range. Yep. Thing is, Cornite though, even though it's less than fifty percent, it's still just it's better than none, right? It's better than none, and that one reroll in the in the equity isn't giving you that much, especially if you win the toss or lose the toss or you know like how it pans out. It, there's a lot to be said for just getting that value from the reroll, isn't there? You know, like like J five, but it's use them as soon as you can, kind of thing. Jimmy, this is so easy now. The the blank beard down under the Slayer. Blitz is the beastman just above the blitzer. And if you get the pow, that's your plus. In fact, yeah. Yeah, here we go. This is so simple now. This is such a shame. Well, looking like he did have to reroll after all. <laughs> yeah. Or just not do that action and protect the ball area a bit better. Well, yep. And try and knock that blitzer over, if anything. So this now pushes the blitzer. Yeah, the one die pushes the blitzer in range. Two yep. die, sorry. And now the runner can come around and just on a single, three plus, three plus. It gets to the blitzer, and then on a two plus, two plus, Dio wins. So yeah. three, 
three three with re-roll two two yeah sorry three with re-roll three two two yeah yeah exactly toxic except the first one has a built-in re-roll which it didn't need handoff gets done <laughs> Two plus two plus to win the game. Oh, oh, oh. Lovely move from Diodo. Well yep. thought. Yep. Well sawn. Sorry, well seen. Well executed. Uh, but Nuffle says no. Yep. Unbelievable, Jeff. Lovely play from Diodo, though. I, I, anyone that doesn't say that, I, I'm sorry, but you're being mean. That was some beautiful play. <laughs> yep. Well, I mean, that, that was the thing, I, uh, you know, and Vavos saw it too, right? That's why he re-rolled yeah. that, because he felt that he had to get there, because the, the chains were on, and, like, there, there, were, there were definite chaining things on. And, yep. Uh, yep. Yep. Well. In the end, I think the position he took sort of helped with the chaining, but... Um... Maybe. But, I mean, he could have just picked up the ball, right? If he picks up the ball there, then, yeah. then it's all then everything. It's so. much, much easier, yeah. However, uh, picking up the ball is going to be something he struggles with, Jim, because whilst there is a lot of uh, chaos coming back, not the ball handler. Just badly However, he's only badly hurt. hurt. He would be there for the next game. Oh! oh! Ooh. I felt that equity shift, Jim. I don't know if you did. Seismic equity shift. I personally, I'm I'm under a table and looking at doorways, thinking, should I head for there? <laughs> I'm hiding under my desk. <laughs> and we face overtime. Oh wow, he rolls a one on the KO for the warrior. And the runner comes back. Oh, oh wow, that does not feel fair. <laughs> Flip me, who's going to win the toss? Well, I already know. Ah, I don't. The chaos. Yeah. Ooh, well, Balancing so things quite good. nicely. So the, the dwarves did much better out of the chaos. Mm. Straight four plusing their hero runner back. Chaos a lot less well. Uh, on a two plus, they were expecting their killer back. Oof. But it did not happen. Mm. Now, beautifully, that means we're poised with 9v9. Wow. Um, but the chaos have the ball. There are no re-rolls to complicate things. What an overtime we face! Mm, glorious, guys. <laughs> that was an equity tremor level eight on the dioctus. <laughs> it is Jaylee. The equity is jumping backwards and forwards. It's almost like this is a random number-based game. No way. <laughs> With swings to the, you know, the luck each person is receiving based on every different turn of rolling dice. Don't tell me there's dice. <laughs> well, don't tell Dio that. <laughs> My whole life's a lie if this is a little children's dice game. <laughs> I thought Can it was... you imagine the empty hollowness, Jim, though, of losing and thinking, well, it's entirely my fault because I don't believe in the dice being against me. Ah, yeah, that's a good point. My brain is a potato. I don't think I'm well enough mentally defended from that. I can't <laughs> there was nothing I could do. <laughs> nothing I could do. Just diced again. It has been a pretty great game, yeah, to be fair. Yes, Leo never loses. Fermi is right. He either wins or draws, which are as good as wins. Or the game may be lost, but he's gained a great deal of insight, intelligence, and knowledge by playing it. Mm. So there's always a win for Dio. Yep, and he's educated the stream viewers as well. That's he often does suboptimal players just to educate the stream viewers. I remember. He does to see if they can spot it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's a giver. <laughs> now. Lots of people thinking, oh, I bet there'll be a re-roll to ruin this synchronousness of zero, zero re-rolls. Oh, no. Oh, better. <laughs> They've each now got a bribe. Flip me. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't make mistakes. He tests the viewers exactly. <laughs> Although lately he doesn't, because, of course, he's stopped the whole streaming thing. He, he makes personal videos for people who pay for coaching. Yeah, and he'll be back, I'm sure. And he's testing them. <laughs> I'm sure he will be. Yep. I, well, I hope he is. I, I, I am a big fan of Dio as much as I like to take I'm the mick out of him. I'm a huge fan. 
he's one of the best blood bowl players there is. He's got a fantastic mind that although he expresses himself sometimes somewhat gnomically, um, he's always interesting about Blood Bowl. And yeah. anything he says, I want to listen to and assess myself, because some of it is absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Some of it's a load of old shit, but <laughs> you have to understand Dio and how he communicates to see the difference. Yeah, a lot of it is fucking mental. <laughs> it is. Randomly decides that I don't know, kickoff return is greater than guard or something. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, I mean, it's all right, you know. Yeah, you've got a point. It's a bit undervalued as a skill, but no, it's not better than guard. That's, that's not a thing. Right, so we've lost a dwarf, and yeah, that's it. We've now got eight dwarfs. Yeah, that's amazing. Five me they won, and so did we. <laughs> That is the most dire thing ever. <laughs> I could hear him saying that and smiling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I read that and I thought that is incredible. <laughs> Here we go, and the big claw mighty hit is still to come. Wizards of the Coast, of course, changing everything they had planned and the entire of their monetization system for uh, Dungeons and Dragons based on feedback from the players. And then releasing that wonderful statement explaining how that was their idea all along. And really, it's a win for them. Mm. Yeah. Oof. Much like one day, Angelina Jolie will release a statement saying that Brad Pitt was merely a passing fancy <laughs> and that she has found the true love of her life. In the stability of love that only I am able to give her. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Very good, Fami. <Frimer. laughs> <laughs> oh, That's excellent, Fami. That is absolutely excellent. Very amusing. And Very droll. I Honestly, it's fair if if it means he played less blood ball. <laughs> it's even <laughs> correct. <laughs> One interesting thing we are seeing a little bit of from Vava here, and I don't think it'll affect Dio. I sensed a hesitancy about picking the ball up, Jim. Hmm. I liked it though. I like I like I like that. You know, just uh, get something near it because it was more important to bang with Claw Mighty. Like I genuinely believe it, it is. He's got it. It was hands. more important to bang with Claw Mighty. I think we both agree on that. <laughs> yeah. Because um, he's in a bit of a bind here. The dwarves are very solid, stable, and if he can remove a couple, game on. Mm. Chaos win in my head. So I don't mind stabilizing near the ball. I don't mind the the banging hit. I don't mind he didn't pick it up, but I do think it betrays a slight nerves in this situation. Mm. And I'm sure Dio will feel the same and want to try and use it in some evil way. <laughs> For example, you can put the blitzer in front of the rackle piece and then you can go down the sideline with your mighty blow stand firm and get tackle zone on the ball. Mm. The blitzing the other beast, if you see what I mean. 75% to power it and then just go and stand right next to the ball on the sideline. Yeah causes some problems that I'd like to see how the chaos solve. Pitch clear the draws without scoring and then lose and kick, that would be pretty fun. First dub scores, the first pickup fail could be devastating because it could go in the crowd. That's similarly for the chaos here. I mean, if they take down that stand firm dwarf guarding the sideline, they're pretty much gone, aren't they? Yeah. You can put a couple of these back markers on the blitzer and the runner and the rest can all go forwards. Yeah, this is pretty big. He's not going for it. What? What? I'd have definitely gone for the stun firm guy there and just see if you bang him out. I know you want to get five percent, but it's kind yeah. of free, isn't it? It's kind of just a free, kind of free rolling to just hit him. I mean, you could have even just not even hit him with the claw. You could have even just hit him with strength force, and you've got the strength force stuck on him if it fails. Not a problem. <laughs> but if you get the power, you can scoot down the sideline. Yep. That. Huh. <laughs> 
That's great, that Pablo. Yeah, he didn't want the club to get stuck on stand firm, but you know, I think at this stage you've got to you've got to commit to winning the game, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, targeting the edge three, that's fair as well. I mean, it's fair, like you know, it's not it's not terrible. I would have I would have definitely tried to get down the field and score. I think it's worth trying. To yes, do. there's definitely an argument for that. But, I mean, unfortunately, we've gone to the point with the KO recoveries. There's now three AG3s on the pitch for the Dwarfs, which is mm. you know, half the number of Dwarfs on the pitch. So <laughs> it's kind of hard not to target them. But yes, I, they would be top of my Blitz priority tree, except things that will help me win, which would come in even higher. <laughs> I don't like this. We've engaged all the way across again, rather mm. than try to aggressively find the space through or something. Yeah, punch through, isn't it? That's, uh, still not going for the pickup. Wow, is he playing for kicks? Is he just hoping that he can keep just claw mightying and then eventually there'll be nobody left to stop him so that if he fails the pickup and it goes out of bounds, it just doesn't lose him the game? It's possible, yeah. I, I don't think he's got enough turns in the half to enact that plan. <laughs> but it is, it's possible that's what he's thinking. <laughs> I mean, it is noticeable now, isn't it? It's two turns and we haven't tried to pick the ball up. Yeah. And if it fails, five out of eight spots, it just stays next to you anyway. And yeah. three of eight, it goes out. And then one of those three, it heads up into where the dwarves are, and the other two, it's somewhere where you can probably recover it. Yeah, I think it was well worth picking up last turn. And so did I. I was I all right with it. Turn, yeah. The first turn, I was all right with it not being picked up. But I'm with you. I think now it needs to be in hand. Oof. Big and we've also seeded from... momentum by mm. going wide across the pitch again, which I have no idea why we did. Yeah. We have a mild speed advantage over the dwarves. There were two or three of them over on that right hand side as we look, and we could have left them there and headed up the, f the flank. Yeah. And I'm confused as to why we haven't. And we brought those dwarves back into the actual game. Yeah. Now that stunned blitzer isn't going to be stunned anymore. And suddenly, what was a good position starts to crumble. Oof, he's just blitzing off Slayer. Oh, people do love hitting that AV8. Uh, it does generate a 2D90, but this seems so much more irrelevant than picking up the ball <laughs> and yeah. getting down the field and scoring. <laughs> Although, oh, what do we so know, Jim? Because he's got the numbers back in his favour. Mm. Brilliant. Right, now you can you can stabilize. You can keep your claw pommers, your claw mighty safe. Put another beastman just one step forwards and try and pick the damn ball up. You gotta try and pick it up. You've got to. I mean there is a lot to be said for just maximizing two DBs. Like it's it's sad but true. But I think this was definitely a time when he should have been thinking about picking the ball up and scoring. <laughs> oh dear. No. He's not picking it up. Why? I'm Why? now confused, Jim. I, I don't understand now. I'm no. fully lost. No. I'm completely he lost. Is he just playing for the 50-50 of kicks, or does he really it's... want you to can't. kill a couple more dwarfs? Or... Yeah, you can. Like, you, you might fail the pickup. Like, he can easily fail the pickup, like, two, three times now, right? Like, he uh -huh. had to start trying to pick it up. Like, he had to. Cord Knight suggesting that Dionysian is actually facing a new version of the Cyanide AI here. <laughs> wow. I 
I bet Dio's loving this that he's still he's still he is, got the ball and not picked yeah, up. Yeah, considering this hasn't gone very well as a half for him so far as a drive. Yeah. Um, the fact that the ball is on the ground and not in a dangerous spot heading up his arm, heading up his throat, I, I think it's going to confuse him. Mm. But yes, excite him too. <laughs> Confused and excited. Which will like. definitely be the title of my sex tape if I make one. Well, hey. I was going to say, like uh, like Jim Carrey in that, in that movie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, what, I can't remember the movie. There's Jim Carrey and he's like, there's this big black dildo and he's like, oh, look who came out to play. And then the woman's like, that was for you. <laughs> I don't know which movie it was. Someone in chat will know. I don't think it was Batman and Robin. Uh, me, me, myself, myself and Irene. And Irene. Yeah, there you go. Sense. Thank you, Christopher. Yeah, that's uh, no, it was me, myself and Irene. Yeah. Now, again, because the Blitzer has come running into the middle, doesn't that leave the flank a little exposed? Mm, it does, yes. Now, me saying that does imply we might try and pick the ball up. So... It's by no means you know, a done deal. Well, again, it's there's still just one beard. <laughs> yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog. Yep, yeah, like that was the one. <laughs> Mongoose. <laughs> oh, yeah, he just doesn't want to hit me. Doesn't want to hit the stand firm. Just doesn't want to do it. Doesn't want to pick up the ball. Doesn't want to hit the stand firm. Dio's loving this, isn't he? He's got him yeah. mentally destroyed. Yep. Despite there currently being seven dwarves on the pitch. But no Snow White. Well, we don't know that, but yes. That's that's how Dio comes up with his best ideas. Colombian marching powder. <laughs> yeah. He's gone and picked the ball. Oh, the crowd go wild. I'm excited by that as a tactical opportunity. Hmm. A big book of diarrhea. <laughs> well, it's good, just got a lot harder for Dio now that now the cares actually have the ball. <laughs> I mean, you, mm -hmm. I was going to say he's got a plateau, but this one hasn't got guard. It's so annoying when there's one scumbag dwarf that doesn't have guard. <laughs> Maybe just one D to get the blitter up. So again, we're seeing Dio taking a fair chunk of time before deciding what to do here. It's, it's, it's still a tough spot. He still is very short of resources, but I've just not seen Valva try and leverage what he's got very effectively. So, mm. here with a lot more agency here than I would wish him to have. Mm. Probably just move the uh, runner first, right? Unless he's going to GFI, which maybe he yeah. is going to GFI behind the stand for. Surely the runner has to go here. At least, like, if he, he can't stay where he is, because then you can just hit this guy and run through there. Yeah. Unless, I guess, you have the dwarf here. Mm, I guess the runner could go there or something. But then if the runner's going to go there, why hasn't he gone there already? I think it was an evolving turn in Vava's mm. head. In, sorry, Dio's head. 
I feel like he should have done that first. Cause, you know, because you can dub skulls, right? With no reroll, I think you've got to. Hundred percent, you can. Got to, you've got to take these. You've got to play kind of properly and as safely as possible. A fair number of these can one in nine, let alone uh, mm. dub skull. Although not so much the chaos hand built, as I said at the start, very solidly. Yep. With block just about everywhere first, and then a lot of guard. Dub skulls. Had to happen eventually. Good. But Dyer's not really in a situation, not really in a spot to take advantage, is he? He's still just got to hold the line and hope he can stop the score. Well, the non strong blitzer can get there on two go for it. Um, first, you'd have to put something in to assist to move that Chaos Warrior, but if it does, then he can get there on two GFI for one die, which might be where we're at. The runner could, uh, the runner could come in and hit it. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. If you want. Might think it's worth doing. Mm. Like it's not bad, I mean, is it? A dodge and it, two. It doesn't cost you anything, that's the problem, isn't it? I mean you, you haven't got a reroll to put into it, so Yeah. I mean, it costs if you, you, think it costs you, you the game if you fail. <laughs> well, I mean if you think you can put a, a solid defence up and still do it. I don't think but it's it's not easy, is it? No. I mean, maybe you can, right? This guy comes over the assist. He two tees him. He runs back over here, and then so you still got all. You still got nearly the same defense. Yeah. And so far, we've seen Varvar very unwilling to take on that stand firm beard, who hasn't moved since the start of the half. Yeah. yeah. Now, two two D the worry. You can probably you can just move this move this in here, and then this war this. Dwarf probably blocks him and then the blitzer runs over to replace him. Or you know the slayer the slayer could assist and then you can move back. I think he'll do it with the runner, yeah. No, it's not even really going all in because you can just you can just utilise him to you can just move him back over the cover, so kinda of no reason to do the one do. You just, you just shuffle them around. Or he could even come in with this guy. Three, four, five. He could go in to put guard on, couldn't he? And then he's got something around the ball. Yep. He could actually go all in. Yeah, yeah. 2D if you go all in. Yeah, so if you're going all in, you have to do the 2D. Because then that yep. frees him up, yeah. But yeah, you can move the Slayer around, put him in as the assist. Then you get the 2D with the Blitzer, and then you've still got a runner and the stand firm beard to come and cause problems afterwards. Yeah, double GFI though for the Slayer to assist. Yeah, and double GFI then to hit. So you're looking at four GFIs to get two die. Yeah. Which is less than 50%, not by much, but it is. Yeah, I much prefer the dodge in. Nope, he's not going for it though. He's not going for it. He's going for the 1D. He is going for the 1D. Gets that Gets pie. it. Oh. Oh, it doesn't follow, he would have caught it as well. <laughs> I mean, is it the safest move, right? It's ostensibly the safest move, it leaves the most cover, but if that cover isn't going to be enough, <laughs> yeah. then is it really the safest move? That's the question you've got to ask yourself, isn't it? And maybe this is, because you know, you know, now that it's worked, he does have to blitz back to clear the tackle zone, so then he can't blitz forward in the same turn. So now it does look pretty good that he didn't roll a one on the GFIs or on the or a skull on the blitz. But had he had he fifty percent of the failed it, then is this defence going to be enough? Probably because he refused to blitz the stand firm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, exactly that. I mean, imagine if that wasn't there, or if it was, you know, tussling with a chaos warrior. There's such a route up that flank, but there just isn't. Yeah, I can't believe he didn't at least stick the warrior on it. Like he could have blitzed it with a claw mighty and yep. or he could have just stuck the warrior on it and he's done neither and it's he sure got himself into a pickle here. <laughs> oh, I mean definitely Johnny Five. <laughs> um probably Johnny Five, yeah. But I think if that was true it all a new culture would arise of not just wiping but of checking afterwards. Hmm. Oh yeah, for sure. Ooh. 
I mean, the Germans, by all report, you'll know you live there, Jim. They have toilets where your motion is visible to you before you flush. Yeah, yeah, so the poop shelf. Your, yeah, you can check the health of your poop on your mm. poop shelf. Mm. So it certainly wouldn't be unusual to take a, you know, a snapshot of your Nipsey and have a look at that after a, a session. Mm. <laughs> so, some people would, I guess, Pogla, but I certainly wouldn't. <laughs> If they were textured. <laughs> okay, I was trying to come up with an amusing response, but I'm going to leave that to J5. <laughs> I think that's not beatable. <laughs> well, what about if they were scratch and sniff? Would that? Wow, I think Vavar has spunked this away, but he might like he might still got the kicks and be fifty fifty to win. Yeah, and there's still a route through this stand for me. <laughs> if you just the damn thing over next turn. Oh man, I'm sad he's picked up the ball both times. He's, he's I kind of attempted. Am. Yeah, he could have easily just failed the pickups and not scored after refusing to pick it up. He's tried two pickups in fucking six turns, and he's yep. made them both look a dog. Yep, and not tried three others. Yeah. I mean, this still looks advantage chaos, isn't it? He just blitzes something next turn and runs forward with the ball and gets there. It should be, but, you know, he can free up both of these with his blitz, like instant blitz from the runner, isn't there, for uh, Dio, yep. and then he can get, yeah, and get them both in the backfield. Thing, yeah. Get some kind of defense going again pretty easily. He's seen exactly oh. that. Oh. I am the one in nine. And it's tackle as well, so he can't even dodge himself off easily. Oh. Has, to. has to dodge himself Oh, yeah, but not easily. He? Like uh, yeah, I think he has to, yeah. Oh, no, he's, no. he's going to take it down with the other runner and hope that he can still get back. I mean, ooh. I think just dodge with the other runner. I think the other one, the other, because this, otherwise this would have been down if he'd failed the dodge, right? So he dodges the other runner. No, I blocked. told you he was oh. taking a hit, Jim. Told you. That's terrible, isn't it? And he's, isn't I, that terrible? I don't like it. Is this but one going to dodge? Is this one going to dodge? The one over on the warrior on the far right mm, has to. It's, has it's, to. It can't take that hit. It's of no use there. I don't even hate the dodge forwards and get around behind the... onto the claw piece. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm. I don't hate that, but I just think it's no use there. Yeah, I'd mean, I, I double GFI to here. The thing with it... Okay, what is it doing there? If he stays, it... It frees the runner next turn because otherwise the Chaos Warrior can get around onto that runner, around behind mm. it, and nail that runner in place. I think Dio sees that runner as how he stops the Tato, so I don't think he dodges it. Yeah. Mm. But does he take the one die into red dice? No, he doesn't. He just chooses to be in the way. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good shout because he obviously could have just completely ignored the stand firm and, and got this guy down and gone through past. So. Yep. Ooh! So yeah, engaging the stand firm is very good. Really nice. I wouldn't have done that block first. I'd do my blitz first with mm. the claw on the stand firm. Because if not, I'm going around it. But if it goes down, I'm going through there. He doesn't want to hit it though, does he? He doesn't want to hit it. He hasn't wanted to hit it all half. Is it named after his mother or something? <laughs> Ecrily. Well, we'll never know. But I, that's the first question I would ask him if he came in chat afterwards. Is, is your mother's name Ecrily? <laughs> it's like Batman versus Superman. Oh my god, he's refusing to fucking do it. What the hell, man? Why? I mean, and that's the blitz? Yeah, that was, was the blitz. blitz. Jimmy, why Why was that the blitz? I've got no why idea. Why was that the blitz? I've got no idea. It's to put it on the runner, okay? He, he finally hits it and he instantly powers it as well. Never in doubt. But now you're coming forward. I mean, that runner's still got a 3-plus and monster you. Yeah. And I would have rather freed up more beastmen and had one screening my ball than trusted it to not be out of 3-plus. Mm. But that's just me, you know. You still got to go for it to do it at some point, so you should do it this turn. And you should have moved the other one first. And why are you taking that hit? Why are any of these things happening? <laughs> 
what what has that gained him except another beastman that now isn't in range and no he can, he can go there to to screen the runner. Oh, okay so he's yeah so okay he's okay now that does make some sense the plan was to come around the front of the runner wasn't it yeah okay all right now i don't hate that as much yeah and they're both tackled, so he can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Should be in the sideline, probably. Three, three, two, two. Oh, and now he's put there. Oh, now, that's beautiful. Okay. All now right. he's got a that one D all here. All ended up all right in the end. Oh, no, he can two D. He can two D here, yep. and then three, three again. One, two, yeah, three, yeah, four, you're right. Five, six. Three, three. Actually, he's right to not be on the sideline. But both through tackle, which is pretty shit. So it's three, three for two dice. Mm. No re-roll. Yep. Even if he fails it, the Chaos have still got to make a 2+. plus. Yeah. Wow, what a game. Okay, so I, I withdraw some of my criticism. Varvar's shape at the end of that turn was lovely. And he doesn't make it, Jim! Can Varvar make the 2+. plus? I'm going to laugh myself if he doesn't. We've already seen one tripwire. <laughs> yeah, it'd be great. It would be justified for, for not trying to pick up the ball for six turns, honestly. It really would. Plus, it would make Samich right, and we'd all like that. <laughs> yeah. Don't you come with your prediction now, just fucking around. Samich got on that, like, turn three. <laughs> yeah. If it's nil-nil and kicks, Samich gets all the credit. Yep. 100%. Yeah, Paravel, he just didn't bother to pick it up until, like, for loads of turns. Oh, my God. No, also, and it goes. Wow, Varvar goes through to the semi-final. Dionysian mm. goes back to the wilderness. Unbelievable. Back to the wilderness. <laughs> back to the hills of Wales. <laughs> well, he says he won't be playing Blood Bowl 3. Doesn't like Does the look of it. No. I think he's lying. I don't like the look of it, but I guess I am going to play it. Wow. We'll give it a lovely go. See how it turns out. Yep. And Alma then... forever very happy. I think given the choice of the two as Dark Elves, you'd much rather face those Chaos, wouldn't you? Yes, 100%. But Despite the Chaos still do have four tackle. tackles, so yeah. They do have a lot of tackle, yep. Yeah, as far as Chaos goes, that's, a, that's one of the worst Chaos teams to face, you know? like you'd, Much worse than the standard one of more claw and piling on. Um, well, like I said, it's, it's nicely built. What it isn't is it's not a super kill team. Yeah. It's, it's a solid build Chaos team, um, which, if anything, perhaps lacks a Pommer and maybe one more Claw, but mm -hmm. the solidity really is there with all those block guards. Yep, really nice. So there you go. Congratulations, Vava. Commiserations, Dionysian. Thank you very much, PC, for coming on and being glorious as always. Absolute pleasure, Jim. What a game that was. I really enjoyed it. Some really good play from both. Um, yeah, someone had to win, someone had to lose. But, oof, what a game. <laughs> Unbelievable. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.